hate people. <laughs> I was at a party, and the reason why I hate people is because, like, I don't hate him, that's really bad, I'm just pointing straight at you. <laughs> but no, it's, um, just people who are exaggerating and stuff like that, and people who don't really think about what they're saying. I was at a party, and someone was fancy dressed, and someone was dressed like Gandalf. And, so, and someone just like, oh my god, that's the furthest costume I've ever seen from Gandalf, you look like God. Now, <laughs> <laughs> well, Gandalf, white beard, white hair, robe, that's what the guy was wearing. God, the Christian God, when I think of him, white hair, white beard, robe. <laughs> And this guy must have a shit imagination if he thinks the furthest thing from a guy with white hair, white beard, and a robe <laughs> is a guy with white hair, white beard. Like, if, like, it was me, and he showed up dressed like Where's Wally, and then said, I'm Gandalf. <laughs> That's pretty far, but then I was like, what's further? Because they're both fictional. And it's like, so he shows up to the party dressed as a blade of grass. <laughs> I'm Gandalf. <laughs> Still not good enough for me. The, like, and I was thinking, like, what's further than him showing up to a party dressed as Gandalf? Him not showing up. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was thinking, is he just at home dressed like Gandalf? Because <laughs> then he's only missing one factor of being at a party dressed like Gandalf. He's missing the party. He's ready to go any second. <laughs> So, what's the furthest thing he could have been from dressing up as Gandalf at a party? Never being born and dying.